Hi St. Paul's, this is your curate Isaac Martinez. These announcements about my transition away from you all get harder and harder each time, but we have reached the day when my commitment at St. Paul's goes from half time to one quarter time. As of September 1st, I will work 10 hours a week until I leave St. Paul's on December 31st of this year. Now there's a lot I can say about what I have learned and how the last two years serving with you have blessed me beyond measure, but I will save most of that for my final goodbye. For now, I want to assure you that I am not gone yet, that I expect my last four months to be as amazing as the first two years have been, and that the clergy, vestry, and so many wonderful leaders are planning for this transition prayerfully and thoughtfully. I first want to give you all an update on what God is calling me to that will take me away from St. Paul's next year, which is birthing a new Episcopal worshiping community springing from and centered on queer and trans people of color. Since beginning this transition last November, I've been able to form a small leadership team of other queer and trans Christians of color to help me plant this church. I and other great leaders from across the diocese, including Elise, our associate rector, are working to rehabilitate the closed church of St. Luke's and St. Margaret's in Alston. This will serve as the physical center of my church plant, but more excitingly will be a truly innovative collaboration of mission and ministry of all kinds. We hope to be able to start hosting people, maybe even some of you by this October. And finally, I received the first portion of church planting grant money from the denominational level of the Episcopal Church. All of these are signs that despite the difficulty and uncertainty of trying to plant a church, God is my shepherd and never leaves us wanting. Now for some St. Paul's updates. As happened when I stepped down to three quarters time and then half time, my responsibilities will shift to accommodate my new time constraints. I will be fully available at St. Paul's on Sunday mornings and Tuesdays going forward. Until I leave, I will have staff oversight of our church school, youth group, and 20s and 30s group, which are the cornerstones of our ministries with children, youth, and young adults. Our long-serving church school teachers, our new youth group leaders, and soon-to-be convened 20s and 30s leadership team will be equipped to manage these programs with support from Jeff and Elise should there be any gap between me and my eventual successor. While I will be a regular presence on Sundays, I will preach less often and will handle only emergent pastoral care concerns. I will be stepping back from my role on our GBIO core leadership team. Pat and Jeff will take over managing our acolytes. And I'm very pleased to announce that Peter Cole, who has been such a faithful tech verger this summer, has agreed to become our lead tech verger going forward. And don't, re- don't worry about remembering all of this. Anyone on staff can direct you to the right person you need to be in touch with about any of our ministries. My remaining responsibility is to convene our Children and Youth Ministries Steering Committee. This month, our steering committee will release a report to the vestry and the parish about what we discovered during our data gathering project this spring and summer and what our recommendations are for these vital ministries in the years to come. The steering committee will then support Jeff and the vestry as they discern the best staffing model for these ministries, balancing all of the competing priorities of a parish like ours. So please keep all of these hardworking, amazingly brilliant and faithful leaders in your prayers. Finally, church school and youth group are starting up for a new program year with all of our events and gatherings planned to be in person. All of the information you will need, along with COVID safety protocols and a registration form for your kids and teens are now on the St. Paul's website or can be found at the links below. If you have any questions about these plans, please don't hesitate to be in touch with me. And to close, I'd like to turn to one of my favorite collects from the prayer book. Let us pray. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. 
Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, St. Paul's. May you be blessed and may you be a blessing.